Matthew Bedzik here from the New Way Agronomy team, and with me is Isaac Anderson from the Winfield United team. And we are at the innovation plot in River Falls, Wisconsin that Winfield puts on to bring you guys a sneak peek at short corn. Uh, Isaac, fill us in a little bit. What do we have here with short corn? Yeah, so short corn is the latest breeding trend um, in the industry. And what we're looking at here is a plant where we have intentionally reduced the internodal spacing. So non-technically speaking, all we're looking at doing is reducing the space in between the leaf nodes. So a couple of things this will help with, Matt, is one, protecting the plant against wind. So wind shear is the force that the wind can put against this plant. And wind shear is log rhythmic growth, meaning that when we double our wind speed, we actually quadruple the amount of force that that wind puts on the plant. So by reducing the height of that plant, we're going to protect it and make it accessible later into the season. So long story short, reducing the amount of stock on this plant while maintaining the area of leaf index, because we know that's essential for sunlight interception and photosynthesis. So one thing farmers are always worried about is ear height. When they start talking about shortening a plant, they hate running them snoots in the ground. What are they trying to do or accomplish with ear height on these hybrids? Absolutely, great question and a good concern, right? We don't wanna have corn that we can't pick off the, the top of the soil. So the goal here is to reduce all of our nodes at relatively even spacing, meaning that we would take our current ears that's set at about four feet high, um, and we would reduce that about in half. And you can see that the early generation here, setting ears right where we would like, about two and a half feet, which is above the clearance of our current equipment. So wouldn't have concern about being able to access that ear. Perfect. Uh, you know, the next things we'll probably dive into a little bit is, okay, what kind of management practices can we kind of change up on here? So we talk about nutrient, we talk about uh, applications that we can possibly do. Um, those will be all fun to topics and, and fill me in. What are you guys, how are you guys involved in that practice? Yeah, absolutely. So our answer plot system is going to look at a lot of the different management techniques, but because of the timeline of short corn, we, we have some, some time to get some research ahead of this. So as of now, the, the natively bred or selective breeding that we're doing to introduce short corn will be available probably mid-decade, 2025. We're also looking at a biotech trait that would be an integrated trait that would specifically target the internodal spacing. That'd be available end of the decade, about 2030. So over the next four to eight years that we're working with new breeding practices, we're gonna look at nitrogen management. We're gonna look at water use efficiency. We're gonna look at different in-season applications that we can do later into the year because our equipment can get into the field. So a lot of fun research to come around this. That'll be great. Hey, uh, stay tuned. We're going to have another video here where we get to talk a little bit more in depth about maybe the nutrient management practices, uh, equipment management that we can do in this stuff, and just kind of look forward to how we might be managing this thing in the future. So stay tuned and thanks for tuning in. Thanks.